It was extraordinary yesterday morning uh, being in the buffer zone and passing through Betty's Bridge. Um, not all of you may have visited this, but uh, this is a place where um, one time it is the lowest point in the buffer zone in the middle of Nicosia where um, a lot of water gathers and it was very muddy when Betty Boothroyd was passing through. And so they built a special bridge for Betty so that she wouldn't get her feet wet. Um, and that is now still called Betty's Bridge. Uh, but being there, the sense of failure of humanity and of Europe, really, that we allow a divided city, a divided capital city still to exist within Europe, uh, is poignant, it's strong, it's... Uh, and um, my whole... I was there from Sunday till yesterday evening. I think that today, this part of the House of Commons is transformed and looks very much like Cyprus. Not only because amongst us I see many dear and familiar faces, but rather because uh, we are here today to focus, as a photographer would say, on a close-up on Cyprus and its people. My friend Doros Partasidis has taken a close look at his native homeland. The subject of uh, his work has for years been an exploration of Cyprus and its people, a small selection of which is shown here today. I knew Doros Patatsidis' work before I actually met him in person. Works such Cyprus 1974 days of disaster, the portraits of Macarius, and in documentary, the green line for Channel 4 of uh, the British television, are invaluable records of history and sentiment. A classical tragedy acted out in real life when the Kudenda and the Turkish invasion deeply scarred Cyprus and its people. Doros was there before many of us could even comprehend the magnitude of the terrible consequences of the double crime against Cyprus. Those photographs shown widely in Cyprus and here in Britain are a record of actual events and real people which inform the public and politicians abroad of the violent destruction and devastation suffered by a small, defenseless island. These images of 1974 events are also a roadmap for Cyprus, tracing the calamities of the past and giving us hope for the future. They are our fathers, grandfathers. Even when viewing his photos of fear and disaster, for me, Doros Partasidis is above all photographer of hope, photographer of future. Today's exhibition is a most elegant testament to this. The subject of uh, his photographs stands smiling, which is exactly how Cypriots face human beings, regardless of their ethnic origin. This exhibition, as always, I dedicate for the people, for the diplomats and the politicians, they work to reunite the people and the island. From the bottom of my heart, thank you, each one individual, for coming here 
and please, please enjoy looking at the photographs. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much.